Yo, welcome everyone. Bitcoin is now pushing higher, but we just hit a significant resistance level. That's why in today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we need to talk about how to avoid the trap we are right now seeing. And also, I do need to share with you three very interesting and insane predictions that are right now signaling a big move is yet to happen very, very soon. But first of all, what we are going to see. Remember in our yesterday's video, we mentioned the first very important level we should be aware of. We talked about the value area high, one of the most important levels when you pay attention to the entire bottom price action. This level came up at approximately 62,600 US dollars, which as of right now, Definitely, it is seeing a break towards the upside. And after breaking this level, we said yesterday, pay attention to the golden Fibonacci ratio that is also very, very nicely aligning with the point of control and also with the value area high of the entire upper price action. Bitcoin got a push towards the upside, hit our point of control right here, hit our golden Fibonacci ratio, and I'm not even joking right here, to the exact dollar accuracy, and as of right now, we are seeing a very small reaction towards the downside. That is why, in the upcoming hours, only two very important scenarios are as of right now very very important and we are going to talk about them in a moment first i just want to say that when you pay attention to the bigger picture sensei is as of right now saying that we are still very much early in this specific cycle and that we can still expect much higher price targets to happen by the end of this specific year what you're going to notice right here on the push towards the upside bitcoin already got in march 2024 we got the first sentiment extreme and then of course we should be expecting a push towards downside for some kind of a bear trap and yes it really does look like and it also feels like that as of right now people are definitely losing hope we got a push towards downside right here of course a lot of people have already gotten wrecked and also people are losing patience but this is the thing right in the upcoming months, in the upcoming weeks, according to this specific chart, and of course also according to some other charts that we are going to talk about in today's video, we should be expecting much higher price targets very, very soon. And that is why I just want you to be prepared for higher targets, even if right now we are potentially expecting a rejection from the area where we are trading at the moment. Overall speaking, when we zoom out, let's say on the daily time frame, Bitcoin is still very nicely trading in this specific descending channel. Remember, a descending channel does have a higher probability of breaking towards the upside. On the other hand, if we go with an ascending channel, yes, we actually do have a higher probability of breaking this one towards downside. And I would actually say, preferably, I would like to see the diagonal area of support right here being lost, that being said, broken towards downside, and only then for Bitcoin to continue higher because a lot of people are going to say this right here is a successful break towards downside. They are going to be bearish. And of course, when everyone is bearish, we can expect another significant push towards the upside on the Bitcoin price itself. But why am I showing you this specific Anthony channel? Remember the level we mentioned all yesterday. What is the best support level you should right now pay attention to? Of course, if you do follow me on Twitter, you would definitely know. But if you do scroll down right here, you're going to see October 5th, I posted a very interesting chart talking about the monthly high term time frame area of support. 59,000 US dollars. And what you're right now going to see, if we go once again with our monthly level, it is very, very close towards the bottom of our significant SNE channel. So yes, ideally, we are looking for a push towards the downside right here, exactly from our golden Fibonacci ratio for Bitcoin to hit our significant area of support and only then continue our way towards the upside. That is why right now we need to talk about a very important scenario, something that I also literally tweeted about seven minutes ago because you need to be prepared for a bearish and also a bullish scenario. Before we do talk about that, I would really appreciate if you right now smash up the like button because yesterday almost 400 likes were reached, but today we are targeting 500 likes on this specific video. And also, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel because we are targeting 100,000 subscribers. Similarly, as Bitcoin is also targeting 100,000 US dollars. Thank you very much. Now, let's go back into the Bitcoin chart itself because this is the thing, right? 
if we are right now going to see a push towards downside that being said a successful rejection at the golden fibonacci ratio we need to actually be prepared for our monthly support area if there is going to be a confirmation and maybe right now you're wondering what is going to be a confirmation and yes that is exactly what i posted on twitter literally a couple of minutes ago bitcoin is currently seeing an insane bullish absorption but to be honest, I am not super confident on this one. Releasing crypto market update video very soon. Of course, you are right now watching this specific video, but this is the thing, right? When you pay attention to this specific chart, at the bottom we have CVD, which is measuring how much buying versus selling pressure is coming in the market. What does that mean? We are seeing right now more selling pressure coming in the market at this specific area versus what we got right here. Bitcoin is forming a higher low right here, while the CVD is seeing a push towards downside that being said bullish divergence is as a right now being formed bullish absorption is as a right now occurring on the bitcoin price itself however because this right here is such a significant bullish divergence in my opinion it's not the best one because i do have quite a lot of experience trading the cvd divergences it looks like that once we start forming so significant divergences usually they do not really play out and that is why personally i would not really long bitcoin where we are trading at the moment despite us seeing significant absorption happening let's say on the 15 minute time frame so because of that we need to approach the chart slightly different and let me right now do share with you exactly what you need to pay attention to couple of hours ago bitcoin confirmed a brand new daily high term time frame area of support exactly at 62,000 us dollars we are going to move this specific level directly into our folder because it's actually a very important one additionally when we go let's say on the daily time frame measuring the entire bottom price section with the volume what are you going to notice approximately at our daily we also do have our value area high so you can already see right now where i'm going with this this specific area it's going to be a significant and very important level you should right now be aware of not only because it's a volume level and a high term time frame level also because previously we got a lot of our previous lows exactly right here and also our previous high so looking only at the structure it has been one of the most important levels bitcoin should right now actually hold if this specific support level right here it's not going to be able to hold in the upcoming hours definitely expect that most probably Probably we are looking towards lower price targets that being said we are looking towards our monthly support area right here for Bitcoin to simply finish the entire lack towards downside of this entire rising wedge pattern so the plan for Bitcoin is right now staying very simple yes we do know we are seeing bullish divergence on our CVD indicator however I would not blindly long at this specific area because first of all we are not at the support level just yet and also even if you are looking for a long or a buying position right here make sure you're setting your stop loss below the previous lows why so because when you also go right now with the liquidations what are you right here going to notice we don't have a lot of liquidations above us we have much more liquidations below us exactly below our previous low so what is as a right now the highest probability of bitcoin to do at this specific area at least in my opinion we have right now quite a high probability of seeing a push towards downside at least towards this specific support area right here ideally taking out our previous low and that being said here you need to be prepared because if there is going to be some kind of a reaction towards the upside below our previous lows yes we can actually be interested to go with a long or a buying position but the thing is set a stop loss in case we are then simply going to continue lower because remember ideally we are still looking for another push towards downside for bitcoin to actually finish the entire push down of our rising wedge pattern so if you look at the highest probability trades to be honest i would not even go with this specific long or a buying position it's much better to start looking for a long way buy at the support area at approximately 59,000 US dollars. And yes, now I also do need to share with you this very interesting chart. Before we do talk about that, I just want to mention that Bybit is as of right now hosting a very interesting trading competition. First of all, you can get the 30,000 US dollar free bonus with the first thing down below after initial deposit on the platform, and then we can start having some fun in the trading competition. 
description. Even if you already have a Bybit account, click the second link down below in the description and join our team because I am definitely very, very confident we are going to perform very well because we always have a very clear plan. We know exactly where we are placing our stop losses and our entries and that is why simply join our team with the second link down below in the description or if you simply don't have an account on Bybit, click the first link, register and after initial deposit, get the bonus and start trading on the insane trading competition. Now let's talk about this very interesting chart and later we also need to talk about something very very important because yesterday a lot of you were triggered where I said that I am buying Celestia or Tia at the area where we are trading at the moment. Now let's just right now first of all look at this very important chart from Mr. Crypto. He's right now saying that the parabolic Bitcoin move is about to start very soon. Don't get left behind and all he's talking about right here is pretty much going to be Bollinger Band width. We are seeing quite a big squeeze on this Bollinger Band indicator and usually where we are squeezing we are then expecting a significant move. We are looking for an expansion in either direction. Of course at the moment we are still very much in bullish expecting the squeeze, expecting a move to happen literally towards the upside. So he's right now predicting a big move is going to happen very very soon and the correction we are seeing as of right now here is definitely coming towards an end. That is why I really want you to be prepared in the upcoming weeks, in the upcoming days. And that is why, of course, I'm saying to you that you can still get the bonuses right here. You can still join the competition because in the upcoming weeks, we are going to prepare for an insane bull market. So pretty much what he's as right here saying is that a big move is going to happen. And in my opinion, when we combine everything together, looking also at this specific chart, a big move is going to happen, not towards downside, but actually towards the upside. That being said, we are expecting a breakout out of of our significant descending channel we are right now seeing on the daily time frame. Now, another thing that is right now very, very important at the area where Bitcoin is trending at the moment is that we are forming a bearish divergence on the MACD indicator and also seeing a bearish indication on the Ahler Stochastic CG oscillator on the two hour time frame. We are seeing a double top being formed, but as of right now, we are already seeing a push towards downside. Now, we are seeing a bearish divergence as of right now on the MACD indicator, lower high on the MACD, higher high on the Bitcoin price itself, and the exact same thing also on the 4 hour time frame, where we are seeing a lower high on the MACD, higher high on the Bitcoin price itself. So this right here is a bearish divergence for Bitcoin as of right now. But as we mentioned before, we need to see a confirmation that we are actually expecting lower price targets to happen. Yes, very short term wise, that being said, 30 minute time frame, I would expect Bitcoin to actually hit our important support zone right there. But nevertheless, ideally, we are looking for a reaction below our previous low. That being said, we are looking for people to get liquidated once Bitcoin takes out the low at 61,400 US dollars area right here, and then we are going to go from there. If we are going to see no reaction below our previous low, we are simply looking for lower targets. That being said, at least our monthly at 59,000 US dollars, where we are then also expecting for our bigger ascending channel bottom right here to actually be hit. Now, another very important thing is as of right now happening in the altcoins market. And that being said, L Crypto Proof is posting about the altcoin season index. But before we do pay attention to that, some people yesterday in the comments were triggered where I said I am buying even more Celestia or Tia. In my opinion, that right here is one of the best projects you can write and be buying. But the thing is, right, when you pay attention to the new unlocks, where the new tokens are going to be released, it's going to happen literally in the next 23 days on 31st of October 2024. And that is why, of course, this right here could be some kind of a bearish indication. But this is the thing, and this is how I look at those things, right? When you pay attention as of right now to the best performance in the past 24 hours, Celeste it's not the best performer, but nevertheless, one of the best performers in the past 24 hours. And I would still say, if you are paying attention to how the market is reacting to the news, people are expecting that we are going to see a push towards the downside because of the unlocks right here. But simply pay attention to the price action. We are seeing actually a push towards the upside. And in my opinion, when the bull market, when another lag towards the upside on Bitcoin is going to start, to be honest, I don't really think that those unlocks are going to affect Celestia in a negative way. That is why, again, if the project is a good one, if we are as a right now 
know, still reacting very nicely towards the upside. While Bitcoin is also bouncing right here, I would simply say it does look like the unlocks that are going to happen in the next 23 days most probably are not going to affect the token that much. That is why, once again, personally, I am accumulating even more Celestia, and that is simply why, personally, I'm expecting pretty much a brand new all-time high to actually be formed. Now, Another very interesting chart was posted by El Crypto Proof saying that the altcoin season index is actually forming a bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern over 3.5 years and is about to break out. Most of the money in this cycle can be made in the next few weeks and months ahead. So pretty much all he's talking about right now is that we got a significant push towards downside. We then got the Bitcoin year, but at the moment we are simply forming the inverse head and shoulders pattern that most probably it is going to see a breakout in the up coming days, weeks, and months. And I would definitely agree with him on this one. If you're not prepared as of right now for you to expect higher targets, not only on Bitcoin, but of course also on majority of the altcoins, I would definitely say prepare right now. We can be expecting much higher price targets very, very soon. And that is why also, as I said before, if there is going to be a successful push towards downside, if Bitcoin actually starts hitting our very important support areas right here, not only I'm entering brand new positions, I am adding to my positions and I'm even buying more altcoins. And yes, one of them, is also going to be Celestia. That is why if you want to trade with us and also maybe join the competition right here, click the first link to get the bonus and then join the competition with the second link. Additionally, thank you very much for smashing up the like button.